I think it's fair to say that Donald Trump is less than an honest man. He lies about pretty much everything. But one of the things he's most invested in lying about, besides his net worth, is his health. Donald Trump, for his entire political career, has always exaggerated how good of mental and physical health he's in, because it's all a coping mechanism to face the reality that as an aging man with very real mental and physical health issues, he's not nearly as immortal as he thinks he is, and he realizes that being honest about his health or having doctors be honest about his health will put his political career at risk. We've spoken about this. Donald Trump in some ways knows that his supporters hate weakness, any perceived weakness they hate. And he knows that Republicans in his party that want to be the next president, that want to be the next leader of the GOP are afraid of Trump to some degree. They're afraid of the power he has. Has. But if Donald Trump is sick and weak and decrepit, if Donald Trump has official reports confirming that, he's going to be weaker in their eyes and those sharpened knives will be more likely to find their way in the direction of Donald Trump's backside. And so fundamentally, he has a vested desire into hiding his health issues, which is why it was really fascinating where in an interview, he accidentally let it slip. I really do feel it's an accident that he sort of mentioned that maybe health concerns could be one of the reasons he doesn't run and that Donald Trump made a big error in doing this. It says here, you always have to talk about health. You look like you're in good health, but tomorrow you get a letter from your doctor saying, come see me again. That's not good when they use the word again, Trump said. This is not the first time Trump said this. He also made similar remarks in an interview with Real Clear Politics last year, but argued Wireson, his increased attention to this is significant. Quote, this offhanded comment, one that apparently came as something of an afterthought towards the end of an interview, this is why I think it's an accident, sent shockwaves through the political establishment. He has often been deliberately misleading and even dishonest about his health, and for him to proactively bring it up as a potential reason not to run in 2024 is something of a watershed moment. But Trump being Trump, what you see or hear is not exactly what you get, and it would be ill-advised to take his comment at face value. There are three potential possible explanations for this, wrote Ryerson. First, he may truly have health issues. Trump, who would be 78 by the time he would take office if he were to win another term, has had access to the world's best healthcare, but his advanced age, his 2020 bout with coronavirus, coupled with obesity and what have been well documented as a generally unhealthy lifestyle may be catching up with him. There have also been rampant speculation that he may even be in the early stages of dementia. And so that's very clear. Donald Trump, I think, made a big error, likely because he's losing it mentally and physically, where he gave people an excuse to really understand that this guy's been hiding his health issues. I still think he's going to run, but Donald Trump made an error when he brought it up because we all know that Donald Trump is much sicker mentally and physically than he's letting on. And again, the GOP knowing that, they will pounce on him. Here's a top Republican strategist explaining exactly that. Is it meaningful that... Uh Donald Trump's support for running again has dropped uh, 10 points among Republican voters. I think it shows fatigue. I think it's a wish. It's a it's a hope. But I think if he runs, uh, that hope abandoned doesn't necessarily translate into a diminishment of support or tra- chances of him winning the nomination. You know, who is the person in five years time? in the whole constellation of possible people who will run for president that will stand up and confront Donald Trump. Who's it going to be? Is it be Greg Abbott? Is it going to be Ron DeSantis? Marco Rubio? Ted, Ted Cruz? No, Donald Trump is the boss until he's not. There is a competitive court below him that hates each other, that's constantly scheming, that has one eye on Trump's health, on his fitness, wondering what he's going to do. So there'll be a lot of people quickly out of the gates, but nothing will happen until Trump makes his decision. He's got the party as a hostage. They're willful in the sense that most of them aren't hostages anymore. They're accomplices. But in totality, it's what holds the whole country hostage right now as we wait to see what Donald Trump does 
heading into 2024. So that's Schmidt there. He is a former top Republican guy. He's still a Republican, but he's a Lincoln Project guy, but he has a pulse on the party. And what he said was very clear that as of right now, Donald Trump being seen as strong and ready for 2024, people aren't willing to stick their necks out, but they're keeping an eye on Trump's health, which is to say DeSantis, Cruz, Nikki Haley, Pompeo, all of these people are keeping one eye on 2028, maybe. But if Donald Trump comes out and he's sick and he has his dementia get even worse and he starts to really lose it physically, they're going to stab him. And what's really interesting about all of this is that a top doctor, a top mental health doctor came out and confirmed. We talked about this a few weeks ago, but it's really one of the first times a doctor has come out and firm and confirmed just how sick Donald Trump is to really come out and say Donald Trump is mentally sick he's mentally unwell and they did it in the context of Donald Trump's glorification of Putin and his glorification of violence but it really is a doctor coming out and saying that you know we can confirm that Donald Trump is trying desperately to hide his mental and physical sickness but any reasonable person is going to see it it says Trump is obsessed with violence when he threatens violence and mayhem he is not kidding none of it is hyperbole or some kind of joke. So few public voices are willing to state that basic fact consistently and with clarity. He is very sick and dangerous. Remember, this is a doctor calling Trump sick. He is the type of person who instigates the violence and then hides out in a bunker and watches it happen. Many of the Republican Party's leaders are cowards, but they do have people who act on their behalf, like those right-wing street thugs and other people who attack the Capitol on J6. Those people are not cowards. They are dangerous and destructive people who are capable of killing and other violence. Donald Trump made a big error. I don't think this was some kind of secret ploy. Some people are saying maybe Donald Trump is using this as a way to justify not running if in the end he doesn't run. Maybe he's using it as a trick to get Republicans to attack him so he knows who's loyal. But the most common sense Occam's razor answer is that Donald Trump is desperately trying to hide his mental and physical sickness and he let it slip. Now here's the question. Will those knives be in the back sooner or later?